I was just outside of Baghdad, and it was a suicide bomb that was, it was set up as an ambush. I stepped on a landmine. Next thing I knew, I was on fire. And Shot, it felt like uh, somebody hit me with a baseball bat. My friends hollered for help, and uh, I couldn't, couddn't help. Them. I could see a, a puddle of blood building under my face. And it amazes me every day of, that I'm still alive. They had informed me that he was severely burned. I just begged God to please let him at least make it for me to be able to say goodbye to him. I cried for maybe 30 minutes when we found out, and then it was, tears stopped and survival mode kicked in. Coming home wasn't what I expected. I looked at myself in a full length mirror. I was just like, oh my God, what did they do to me? Doctor just walked in and said, uh, Hello, Mr. Adams, and just came out and just said, you're blind. And I see things that I can't do right now anymore, and it kind of gets me down sometimes. I've always been the one to support my family and, you know, provide for my family, and now to the point that I can't. When a soldier is injured, their whole life can change instantly and profoundly and they may face a new kind of battle, the fight to recover and rebuild their lives. The Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is one of our nation's hidden resources, a nonprofit charity that is working tirelessly behind the scenes to help the brave men and women of our armed forces who return home scarred and injured. The best way to understand this is to see firsthand for yourself what some of the issues are and how the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes works on so many levels to help our courageous men and women of the armed forces to rebuild their lives. The first thoughts th flooding through my mind were, um, you know, what's next? The injuries have, have put a financial strain um, on us. We were already living a very our budget was very set, and, the, and it, it devastated us, actually. It's been a long year. America's just not yet engaged with you folks. They're supportive for the most part, but they're not engaged. Nobody's really asked them to get engaged, and that's what this coalition is all about. The Coalition to Salute America's Heroes was founded three years ago by a visionary named Roger Chapin, who anticipated the rising tide of returning injured war veterans and the struggles they would face. We found that uh, the problem was much more severe than we had anticipated, uh, certainly in terms of the needs of the disabled, and, and that's what this organization is primarily uh, focused on. Since then, the Coalition has orchestrated a series of Road to Recovery conferences. There, wounded veterans obtain access to information from a multitude of veteran service organizations and resources that the Coalition brings together under one roof. Soldiers and their families are encouraged to relax, find camaraderie with others facing the same issues, share their stories, and communicate their needs to the Coalition. The Road to Recovery conferences are just the first of several major programs that the Coalition sponsors. Injury or disability can take its toll on a wounded veteran's family finances. The Coalition to Salute America's Heroes provides emergency financial aid to severely wounded troops and their families in crisis. Our generous donors help families facing eviction from their homes, utility cutoffs, car repossessions, and other financial crises. The Coalition helped us when I first got home by uh, helping us get our bills paid just for the first month or two. I used it to buy groceries. I used it to, to pay it off to pay some of the car. The Coalition has given away over $3 million in direct financial relief to veterans and their families, including $2,250 $500 holiday gift checks. We were broke. They surprised us and mailed us a check 
that if it wasn't f for the $500 check that they mailed us, my son wouldn't have had a Christmas. Because an injured soldier's recuperation is often lonely as well as lengthy, the Family Support Network helps bring spouses and family members right to a soldier's bedside, taking care of travel and lodging. When I was in the hospital, having my spouse by my side was, was a huge emotional boost for me and not having to worry about how she was going to get back and forth. With them being there, you know, keep me positive, you're going to be alright, you're fine, okay, you're in a wheelchair, but you can move on from this. The program also arranges concerts, outings, and special events for veterans and their families. The coalition has purchased and given away hundreds of computers to help injured soldiers stay in touch with their families. At the first Road to Recovery conference, the coalition surprised five veterans with a gift that made each one of them feel as if they'd won the lottery. The houses given away were tailored specifically for each soldier's particular disability. When I was newly blind, I would walk up the stairs with the right rail, handrail, going up, but I had to ask the coalition to Slimmerkers Heroes if they would help me get a, um, a, a rail on the left side to help me walk all the way up, to, up the stairs. And another thing I asked the coalition for was a, um, a talking alarm system to help me out so that way I could set it when I go to sleep at night. Disarmed. It helps me get be more independent. It's a great honor that they've helped us out. I feel very blessed to have this house that you know, I owe it all to the coalition to Salute America's Heroes. The coalition to Salute America's Heroes now enters its fourth year of helping soldiers. Its mission has evolved and grown to meet new needs and they are already beginning to see tangible results. The coalition has uh, opened my eyes to many benefits and frankly, you know, it gives me hope. The great thing about the coalition is that they're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, holidays or non-holidays. It's good to have that, that connection that anytime you need them, you can pick up the phone and you can talk to somebody. I think the number one thing they're doing is educating. It's sort of like having a friend who's got the answers to a test you're going to take. It's like a one-stop shop thing. You know, you got any questions you got, somebody here can answer. You think, I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm, I'm forever bound this way. Salute to America's Heroes has said no, these doors are still open, you've just closed them off. Let me show you how to open them. This country is the way it is because of, of people that came before me and people like me and then people that will come after me for protecting and providing the freedom that we have. The stories of these folks are incredibly amazing. Um, they're inspirational because of their strength and their discipline and the things that they've gone through. As a businessman, it, it makes very logical sense that we would support these soldiers who have defended our very way of life, our free enterprise system, given us the freedom to pursue our financial goals and to achieve them. We are able to, to, to live our lives in freedom. We're able to build businesses you know, thanks directly to the, all the comrades past and present who are serving. The stories that you've seen are just the tip of the iceberg, but enough to give you an idea of their good works. The coalition has many partners helping it, from governmental agencies like the DOD to service organizations such as the VFW, to corporations like GM, Shell, and many others. But there's one more important member of the team, you. I want to ask you to consider the many ways that you can be a part of this team. There is no better way to show your appreciation of our nation's veterans than by supporting the coalition to salute America's heroes. These injured and disabled soldiers deserve our respect and our eternal gratitude. They were there for us. Now it's our turn to be there for them. Now that you've heard their stories, I hope that you will care enough to help this awe-inspiring coalition. Thank you.